everyone, my name is Bobby Srivastav and we're here I'm here with Carrie Ann and we are in the beautiful Kansas City at NAIC Summit, Insurance Summit. It's rocking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to be interviewing Carrie Ann as a fellow woman in InsurTech. Love all the great work that you're doing and the great yeah. podcasts that you guys are producing, you're producing. So. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a series of questions. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. So Carrie Ann Nadeau, I'm the founder and CEO of ODN, which is a risk tech company. We predict where car crashes are likely to happen. And I happen to be a podcast host myself uh, of a podcast called, we've just rebranded it, called The Golf Course. You can find it at golfcore.se. Wow. Easy to find. Uh, it's a modern space for our digital conversations that would otherwise happen on a very exclusive, sort of exclusionary place. We're, we're modernizing that, making it digital, inviting more and diverse voices to speak on the future of insurance and insurance technology. I always find it funny when female founders find each other at these conferences. We're not hard to find and we and we gravitate towards each we other we do because we share experience <laughs> and there's a certain bond of doing this sort of together yeah so uh, what excites you about the insurance industry so much excites me about the insurance industry otherwise I wouldn't choose to be in it right I've devoted my entire life to building a company that serves this industry so you've got to love what you do and I wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was the greatest industry one of the things that excites me that I think people undersell themselves on is that insurance is the front door to innovation. We see every new idea, every new company needs to be insured. So folks who are starting to hear about new companies and new technologies, you're really on the cutting edge, ahead of investors, ahead of the public, ahead of anybody using a product. I think insurance is a jump on the coolest new things. And if I were an investor, I'd be showing up at these insurance technology conferences to learn from the insurance regulators who are seeing these sorts of technologies and innovations every day. So tell us about a time when lemons were thrown at you and how did you turn it into lemonade? That's a great question. Um, I joke that I made a margarita. I didn't turn it into <laughs> lemonade. Add a little tequila, right? Um, no, I think we piloted our technology and one of our first implementations was a failure. And being honest about how it doesn't always work out the first time, I think is really important for InsurTechs to feel loved and supported together, but also for insurance carriers and the insurance industry broadly to know that they should build a little bit more time, a little bit more um, flexibility into the process. Because if you give an insurance technology company one swing at the bat, or one swing at bat, it, it doesn't always work out. You don't always hit it out of the park. But if you can hit a bunch or a single, there's space to, or room to build and grow. So in our first pilot, we were able to successfully demonstrate that our risk measures, which are uh, the risk exposures when you drive, so are you on dangerous roads, are you in bad conditions, are you on roads that have historical records of crashes, that these are actually new measures of risk um, that aren't otherwise included in an insurance risk rating score today. And I think that was a good place to start now where we need to go next, now we know step two, step three, we know what the double looks like, what the triple looks like, and what the home run looks like, yeah. and we can build from there. Oh, that's great, that's great. So what advice mm -hmm. would you give an insure tech mm -hmm. or a, a professional that's trying to get into the, indus uh, to the in insurance industry? Yeah, I think I've always heard that insurance is relationship driven, right? And at first I thought that that was just um, a decoy way of saying that like it's an old boys industry and you have to be an old boy to play in it and we're to relate to others. We're not. <laughs> we're millennial women from diverse backgrounds and not from even the insurance industry in my case. Um, so I think one of the things is figure out how to give value to this community before getting value. For me it's the podcast. For you it might be these little videos that are able to share with people what you bring. Because they, once they figure out who you are and your main top of mind, I think people are very welcoming and very interested in what you have to say. But if you look different, if you act different, if you come from a different background, you have to give people that open door to step through. And so content I found through the podcast, the Golf Course Podcast and the Insurance Nerd Slack channel has been a fantastic oh, way to get to know people. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you. I I, I think so many, in, so many uh, startups just are all about selling their tech 
and they forget that you have to add value to them. It's not about right. give me, give me, give me a pilot, give me this, give me this. It's about what do you bring to the table? Exactly. So. It's like creating a website that you mean to have people come to and buy things from. Well, that's great, but why is anybody going to come to your website and buy your t-shirt off of your website if yeah. you haven't shown them that you have the best t-shirts, you have interesting designs, whatever it may be. You sort of have to have that mentality in the insurance space that um, getting to know people is an important first step. Getting to know what they need, how they want to get it, what, what are their pain points, what do they have a problem with every single day. Um, if you don't love people as much as you love your pet, then you don't love people enough that you sell to, right? Yeah. I love my my dog. I would, you know, I have an insurance policy on the dog. I take it on Me vacations. Too. I make sure it's cared for. It runs around every day that it's fed, right? If I don't care for people as much as I care for that puppy, then I'm not doing my job. Yep. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Carrie Ann. Absolutely. And until next time, guys. Thank you. See ya. Oh,